We're down the line, you need to be grammar. Past tense contrast. And now, please welcome your host for the Lord English. What was I tonight? Mr. Frozen! Alright, uh, welcome all of you guys back to our new episode of Learn English with Jose. Oh my god, I'm so excited for the tonight's episode. Because tonight, we're gonna learn you need to be grammar. We'll talk about past tense contrast. By the way, um, have you heard, ah, have you seen me doing some of my magic tricks? Oh my god, I did it so well, am I? Yeah, they did well. Quite well, but unfortunately the 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 ribbon has um, gone off my finger. So that is unfortunately, but if 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 fortunately maybe I will do better. I promise. I promise. Tonight we're gonna learn past tense contrast. What is it about? We'll do it now. Open your books into page number 15. It is a uh, past tense contrast. You see the word past? Past tense is, is the past symbol. So we all learned. We all have learned. Every time. So you have to remember the structure. Maybe you have remembered. Maybe I don't need to... Um, to tell you again because we have waste a lot of time but if you forget please if you have time please go to the learn english what we'll say season one i have told you Woo! grammar a lot yes a lot i have mentioned them so please go with that episode to memor memorize it then watch this episode okay so let's start. We'll do the exercise one. Exercise number one. Exercise number one on page number 15. Read Kyle's description of a memorable experience. What is what was the positive and the negative effect did the weather have? Okay, so let's read. <clears throat> Zoom in. Okay, you can see clearly now. When I was 15, I went to a music festival with my brother and his friends. We arrived on Friday evening, looked at the program, and decided to go to the main stage to hear Metallica. As we were talking, uh, walking across the park, there was a flash of lightning. A storm was coming, though it wasn't raining yet. When we reached the main stage, Metallica, had started playing. We were already already impressed with the band. I I'd watched a few of their songs on YouTube, but I hadn't seen them live. Their show was amazing. By by this time, it was raining hard, but we didn't mind. In fact, it made the the atmosphere more dra dramatic. Thousands of people were cheering and dancing in the rain. Then suddenly the music stopped. The water had damaged the sound equipment. So, we have breath. So let's find the positive and the negative effects the weather had. So, we are talking about the concert. Yes, the memorable experience, uh, experience of mm, that girl. Maybe. To went to hear Metallica perform, and also uh, the rain started. The rain started, and it has both a positive and a negative effect. So let's find a positive effect first. It was write the down over there. The third paragraph. Oh, the second paragraph. Um, the show was amazing by this time. It was raining hard, but we didn't mind. In fact, it made the atmosphere more dramatic. More dramatic. 
So it made the atmosphere more dramatic. That was the positive effect. More dramatic. But what was the negative effect? The negative effect. Um, I wouldn't mind dramatic during and dancing in the rain. But then suddenly the music stopped. The music stopped. The water had damaged the sound equipment. So, um, when the band was playing, the rain has attacked the uh, sound equipment. Then the music stopped. So they couldn't perform. So damage the sound equipment all right so we have done the exercise number one so now we'll move to the exercise number three on page number 15 so what does it tell us to do Read and complete the learn this box with the names of the tenses. Find the examples of each group in the text. So maybe we're not going to find because we have the examples right down, down right over there. Yes. Okay, so let's read and fill in the blanks so that we can decide the structure. First. Past tenses. We are now when we are narrating for the events in the past. That means we like we were telling stories. Okay, we can use blah 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 to set the scene. So the sun was shining and the birds were singing. So B plus verb ing that verb ing that was using the past continuous. Past continuous. So with the past continuous. With the past continuous, you can use it to set the scene, okay? I have to zoom. Yes. Whoopsie. Okay, we can use it to set the scene. Okay, so next one. We use the what? We use the blank for actions and events that happen one after another. One after another. That means it happened, then the other. She stood up, opened the door, and left. So stood up, then she walked and opened the door, then she go, went away. So that means each action comes after actions. So we we'll use past simple. We'll use past simple. Third one. Um, we use blah 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 for an action, for an action or event that interrupted by a background event. We use blah 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 for the background event. So what does background event mean? Background event is means like the uh, the thing that happens behind okay just like this while we were having lunch that means it is the background event so we'll use past continuous for the background event past continuous for the background event and we'll use the Past simple for an action or event that interrupted by a background event. Example, when while we were having lunch, the phone rang. So that was, my, the phone rang, was interrupted, uh, the um, background event while having lunch was interrupted by the phone rang. Okay, so the phone rang we use past simple. All right, we'll be right back to do to finish the board of the learn this learn this box. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.